side versus hallway rounding, um, and we can get started. So a little background on this. Um, so bedside teaching has declined in medical curriculum over the years and actually is no longer the most common rounding style in most hospitals. Um, this is believed due to increased patient turnover and high quality diagnostic procedures, but is also despite evidence of patient satisfaction and improved nursing communication with bedside rounding. There's really been a lack of data to guide us in rounding practices, specifically in neurology, and, and optimal rounding methods remain unclear. So um, there was actually a new study or trial done um, with Dr. Solomon at Wigan Briggins, and it was published here in Neurology in 2021. And so this was a randomized study of bedside versus hallway rounding. So the objective was to um, compare bedside rounding with hallway rounding on an academic neurology inpatient service, and we're assessing uh, efficiency, training, education, and satisfaction among patients and staff. It was uh, designed as a single center perspective randomized trial only on new uh, admissions in over one week blocks. Now the bedside team presented patients at the bedside, whereas the hallway team presented patients outside of the patient's room. So the primary outcome was kind of broken down here into the mean rounding time and the actual proportion spent at bedside. Uh, this was recorded by time motion analysis with a research assistant following them around on rounds. And interesting enough, uh, the mean rounding time per patient on the bedside group, which was 38 patients total, and in the hallway group, which was 41 patients total, was 23 minutes and 23.2 minutes respectively. Um, so basically the same there. And then as far as the bedside group spent on average about 57% of their time rounding in the room as compared to the hallway, which is around 40% of that. When they looked at secondary outcomes, this was more satisfaction among the patient, staff, and faculty. This was evaluated through a, a five-point Likert scale survey. And so patients viewed bedside and hallway roundings really similar, uh, though when asked um, patients who experienced the bedside roundings preferred that. Nursing, um, they improved or perceived improved perception of their participation with rounds as well as felt more heard during rounding process. Now the residents um, perceived the hallway rounding to be more efficient than bedside rounds and associated with a superior educational experience along with a more effective data review. Uh, on the other hand, attendings perceived the bedside rounds to be more efficient and with better teaching of the history and physical exam techniques, but they did feel that the data review was better served in the hallway group. So just um, a little discussion here. Bedside rounding was perceived less favorable by most of the residents, but actually was as efficient as hallway rounding per the time motion analysis there. Now, um, this is maybe a paradoxical perception. Perhaps it's due to some anxiety about being in front of patients and presenting um, data review challenging and also the pressures of these time sensitive tasks that we ask of our residents uh, to complete, which requires a computer. Uh, although bedside rounding limited the use of technology for data review, it prompted nursing participation and resulted more time spent with the patient. This was a limited um, sample size here in this trial uh, with a low power and actually was cut short due to COVID and only a single center. So there are plenty of, of things that um, can be improved about this trial as well as not a whole lot of other outcomes measured. Uh, just my two cents and last slide here. So as we probably have all experienced as providers, um, you know, spending time with our patients at the bedside, we found, um, you know, maybe that one bit of history that really changed the diagnosis or way we approach that patient. So um, keeping that in mind, also, I believe probably bedside rounding, especially if you're having nursing uh, staff with you, may uh, reduce the number of paging burden that our residents experience. 
Um, but with all that said, I encourage everybody to kind of step outside their comfort zone and try to different rounding approaches and see what works best for your team as well as your patients. And we kind of have to remember that each individual patient is uh, individualized. So patients with delirium comfort care, for instance, might not be the best for a um, bedside approach. And that is it. Thank you, Jordan. Very wise words indeed.